folks, this is the next um, LCD upgrade we'll be doing. This one's on the Realistic Pro 2006. As you can see, it's very, very dull. So I'm going to attempt to uh, fix the backlighting on this one as well. Same as I just did with the Pro 2022. Hopefully I can probably use the same uh, solution for this one as I did for that one, but only time will tell, so anyway, let's get this one pulled apart and uh, see what we can do with this one. If an LCD display is uh, mounted directly to the board on the uh, Pro 2006 and the uh, electrofluorescent display is directly underneath that. So this one's going to be a little bit different to do. How much harder is another story. But uh, anyway, have a look at it. Pull that uh, little electro electrofluorescent uh, light editor and see if we can't get uh, See if we can't get some of that uh, wheat cardstock or whatever put there and put a couple of LEDs on here somehow. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get it on. See what happens. Okay boys, so I got the 2006 done and I had to make up another jig for the screen on this one. And it's easier for me to draw this out than to take this whole scanner apart and redo it because uh, the Pro 2006 is a beast to try to do something with the LCD. Oh, it's 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 brutal. <laughs> I just spent the past three hours trying to figure a way to do it. But in any event, that's the old uh, electrofluorescent uh, display. This one is a looks like C5 dash 839-7738A. That's the one that was in the 2006. So, <clears throat> underneath the LCD, that's the LCD there. And underneath the LCD, there are two black, or I should say two plastic um, uh, spacers basically and um, they just help support the uh, the LCD and those had to be removed two of them like this the easiest way to remove them just snap them off so you get rid of those so then you're just left with just the, the pins on the LCD soldered to the board and that's it there's a piece of foam that is right here protecting the LCD. That foam also had to be removed and uh, in order for this to work. So then you're just left with basically your LCD and it's just got your pins started to the board and that's it. So again, I had to use this cardstock, so it would go across the LCD, okay, on back, but there's nothing to hold it. So what I ended up having to do with the cardstock was make one a little bit wider and bend down each end, fold it, fold each side down, just enough so it can slide underneath the LCD but also be tight. And then when that was in there, slide that one in underneath the LCD, then I took an individual piece, like this one, and then slid on top of that again. Slid across the bottom of the LCD. So all you see is this, basically. So, basically, if you're looking at the cardstock, you know, looking at its end, it looks like that. Okay? It looks like that. And of course, it's as long as what the LCD is. 
So basically, what I did was take the cardstock, bend it as that shape, slide it in. Then I take the other cardstock and then sandwich that one basically between the LCD and this one. Right? So this bottom one holds the top one up but also allows the light to flow through underneath and pass through this one. So that's basically what I had to do with it. And uh, then I had to run the LEDs. So I'll just say this is the LCD here again. So the LEDs are um, as um, my friend mentioned to me. You can get these green sleeves that you know go over uh, ordinary light bulbs for old car radios and stuff to make the old uh, screens green or blue, you know. So I put one of them stuffed out right over top of the LCD or the LED rather. So there's an LED on this side here. It goes in right here. And that whole rubber part is stuffed underneath is stuffed underneath the LCD between like in this gap here. That's where the LED. So one LED points that way across. And then there's another LED point that way across. Like that. So they're sort of going across the L C D. And that's how I got the uh how I got it done. So, uh, power for the, both LEDs running off the, radio, off the scanner's power switch, and ground is grounded onto the shield, which is on back of the LCD and keypad. And that is how I had to do the Pro 2006. Now, you may be wondering what it looks like after it's modified. Well, there it is. Hard to see in the screen, but the LED is kind of a lot brighter in the camera. But basically, the whole screen here now can be seen, no problem. So, in any event, that's what I had to do. Eh? Worked out pretty good. Anyways, that's how I had modified the uh, Pro 2006 and give it some. Uh, Lighting behind the LCD. Anyways, hope the videos uh, are useful to you. Uh, next up, we have another, uh, not a scanner, but we have a, a cool little um, item that I'm going to show you next. So, stay tuned. Anyway, folks, that's two LCD backlight uh, upgrades today that I've done. One for the Pro 2000, or 2022. And one for the uh, Realistic Pro 2006. So, anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed the video. All the best, and we'll see you on the next one. Same drink.